Fucking sports. Live, live, live. I'm live in a location. Look at me. I got a view behind me. I'm in Florida. I'm talking. I think I have Josh on with me right now. Let me see. Is Josh on? It's hard for me to see. The lights. I think Josh is here. And new company, Ad Jace. Company Ad Jace. Rob. Rob reached out to me. said, you want to be part of company Ad Jace? I said, dude, man, of course I do. Of course I want to be part of your team. I love what you guys do. You guys are the best. Did you watch yesterday? Did you watch the end of that Chiefs game? Now, we, we were in dinner, watching the game, had to shut it off, put it back on, which really, uh, for the end, missed the, hey, I'm still here. I'm still here, Josh. Still in Florida, not leaving until tomorrow night. Went to the gym, you know, did a little gun work, little gun work, little gun work, little gun work, bam, bam, bam. And, you know, so you're, if, you're, if you don't live there, if you're a guest, you're not supposed to go before 11. And some old guy had to tell me that, you know, I really wasn't supposed to be here, but it was okay that I was here. I'm like, well, why'd you have to tell me, dude? Yeah. Yo! He was off Ernesto, he was definitely off sides. And then he's screaming. Even after the game, he's pissed with Josh Allen. The NFL said it's going to investigate this bullshit. I'm sorry. Bullshit, bullshit. Rob, how you doing? That was total, total bullshit. I'm tired of hearing him whine. He whines all the fucking time. All the time, Mahomes. Oh, I don't get the call. Kadarius Tony was off sides. Stevator, what, uh, Gene Stevator said he was off sides. Um... You know what? RG3 said he should have got a warning before. Well, this is football. You don't get a warning. And uh, Richard German said, hell yeah, it was offsides. It happened against the Jets. It, happened in every, it happens in every goddamn game that team plays. Every goddamn game that team plays, they get away with shit. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the, the whining. I'm tired of Mahomes. It doesn't go your way. Dude, you are one game ahead of the, of the Broncos who won yesterday. And did you see... Uh, did you see Justin Herbert broke his finger? They don't think he's going to play Thursday night against the Raiders. You had a Viking Raiders game. Vikings won 3 nef- nothing, and Dobbs got benched for Nick Mullins. It didn't matter. 3 nothing, and early in the first half, there was a pass high to Justin Jefferson. Took a shot to the chest. They took him for a precautionary uh, a checking to the hospital, and he ended up missing the rest of the game. So, you know, I mean, I see that, and I'm like, good God, man. That was crazy. Yeah, um... Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. View request. Let's see. Go live with. Oh, so now all of a sudden. Oh, I thought he was off today. Yeah. He, he wants he wants to go live. You want to go live? Go live, buddy. You want to talk? You talk away. All right. Mahomes not having. No, he is not. You think it's bad for the NFL? No. Yeah. Oh, it's bad for the NFL. There he is. What's up, Bubba? JD, how's it going? How's How the winter you? down there? It, dude, it's like it's only 70 today, which they call winter time, which is a bunch of bullshit. 70. Yeah, <laughs> 70. Oh, boy. It's hot like Mahomes was yesterday, huh? <laughs> love it. How much do you love Mahomes when he sucks? I mean, I love Mahomes, but I love when he whines and bitches like a little baby because he was. It makes him look so bad. I wonder if he's gotten so used to winning now that he doesn't know how to handle Or maybe, you know what, he's just, he's just a sore loser and we've never seen it because he's never lost really before. Totally, because, you know, I, 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 he gets every call, and if he doesn't get a call, he goes crazy. Yeah, he goes crazy, and I'm like, it's bullshit, dude. Total bullshit. Such a bad look. Such a bad... And then you saw at the end with, with, uh, with Josh Allen, they're shaking hands, and he's still bitching about it. Right? If I were Josh Allen, Josh Allen would be like, excuse me? Like, I, I just won this game, and you're coming at me like we didn't deserve it because, of a, because your guy was definitively offside. Definitively, definitively. offside. Yeah, yeah. 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 And Andy Reid to put it all they should, the rest. No, it's called personal responsibility. It's it's Tony's responsibility to make sure he's not all sides. If he checks the refs and he tells him you're okay, I would at least have a little bit like, okay, the ref told you and he's the rule guy. But if he doesn't check with him, no goddamn way to the ref's idea to say, oh, wait, oh, by well, hold on, guys, wait a minute, Tony, back up a little bit. You're not asking me. But no, bull, yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Total bullshit. Total bullshit. Total bullshit. I'm like, enough already. I'm tired of hearing him whine and whine, whine. Oh, and the Packers are very by 14 tonight? That's what, that's what, uh, that's what, uh, did, did he just tell me that? 14 over your Giants tonight? Ernesto told me? Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. But it, it's the NFL. It wouldn't surprise me if the Packers come out laying egg. Not, not because of the Packers, just because teams these days seem to do that. They get in a roll 
and they get a little full of themselves. Maybe they don't, they're not practicing as sharp. They come out expecting to win. The Giants aren't very good. And next thing you know, the Packers lay an egg. I mean, we see it with teams. I mean, the Niners with the, with the Browns, right? Who never saw that coming? Laid an absolute egg. The, to the, the Eagles with the Jets. No, the li- li- wait, the Lions-Bears. Bears. You're talking about Lions-Bears yesterday. That was a terrible game, dude. Oh, well, there you go. Another one of them. Another one of them. Just teams come out and just, you know, they get a little full of themselves and just lay an absolute egg. And, Go- and Goff is playing like crap. They're 9-4. and four. Let me ask you a question. What do you think about all the parity? What do you think about the NFC South, Buccaneers, Saints, and Falcons, 6-7? and seven. And one of them is going to host a playoff game. One yeah, of them- that's going to be horrible. I mean, it, you know, if they win that game, they stand no chance in the second round. If... if if someone like the Eagles or the Cowboys or the Niners go into them in the first round, they're going to kill them. I, I don't love the par. I, I don't love the parody. I mean, you know, I, I know maybe it's a like old man get off my lawn type of thing, but I enjoyed it better back when we were, you know, when we were younger and there was more. You know, teams are year after year were generally good, and you had to work and build, and then you're good for a while. I, I enjoyed that better. No, I to- I totally agree because what did they say? There's more. I mean, they're. The, the Chiefs are a game up on the on the on, on the on the Broncos. Broncos weren't they one in five, one in six? Yeah, they, they gave us seventy points. Now, I mean, it's one game, but like, yeah, they were one in five, and ever or not, were they one in five? They're they're pretty bad, and, and then people were like, oh yeah, maybe maybe um, what's his name isn't a good head isn't a good head coach anymore, and and uh, Russell Wilson's washed up, and now Russell Wilson's playing well. You know, he's not lighting it up, but he's winning games, and he's, he's not the reason they're losing, and, he, you know, he looks all right. And the defense turned around. Joseph is a good defense coordinator. He just, obviously, it took a little while for the team to come around uh, to, to, you know, get up with the system and everything, and now now they're playing great. As, you know, okay, so, great, but so they're the, on a roll. Okay, wait, wait. so Mike, Michael Hellman goes, they couldn't let Allen have it. Allen had a brutal season. He said, this has been a week of uh, team shit in the bed, which I don't disagree. Every, and, 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 okay, so that's what I wanted to ask you. Is Dak Prescott MVP in your opinion? Yeah. I mean, to me, no. No. I think Purdy gets it. You think Purdy gets it? Yeah. Uh, did someone uh, put up an argument for Tariq Hill and uh, CMC? What, CMC had a buck 45 yesterday. Yeah, yeah. CMC's having a season, dude. Yeah, yeah, he really and is. And Tyreek Hill, well, yeah, I mean. And, and, and that was, I don't know, but see, well, I don't know about that the receiver because Miami seems when they're running the ball well, that's when they're really hard to stop. So, you know, and that's how it kind of goes in the NFL. You've got to be able to run the ball. You have to. Have to be able to run the ball. Totally agree. Yep. Have to be able yep. to run the ball. What about you? You, you? you don't think Dak? No. You know what? Listen. I, I was on, I was on, and, and I, I, I got the thing up. The company ad, Jace. I got your yeah, uh, logo love up it, in the back. You. I love it. I love. I think it looks awesome. Thank you for including me. I love your group. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for coming to join us, man. We love having you there, man. You bring so much to it, dude. I, but I, I was saying on, on, on the chat that I feel this year the Cowboys NFC Championship game to me is a successful season because they haven't got there since '95. Yeah. I'm not going to judge Dak yet because I want to see. And I'll tell you, that kicker, gee, 59 oh and 60. And that, yeah, and both nothing. of them, he had leg for another five, six yards. Right? And down the center. It wasn't even like right. those were just. It was and, just, and just not like. It matters. You make it, you make it. But it's never. It's, it's like he goes up and maybe he starts a little bit, but then right down the middle every time. No every matter time. What distance, it's amazing. What's he, 30 for 30? I think he's 30 yeah. for 30 yeah. this year. First guy to have two kicks over 59 yards in the same. I was like. Holy you remember shit. Remember when he was going? Norwood with the 47 yard? He had the distance. But it was like, I remember when he went to line up against the Giants. Norwood was like, all right. Like, I was a Giants fan. I was like, this isn't an easy kick. Today, if a guy was going a 47 yarder, I'd be like, yeah, he's going to make it. Right. He, he better make it. He better make it or they're going to yank him. So I'm like, yeah. I mean, unbelievable. Dude, I'm just like, holy. I mean, you're right. Right down the middle. It wasn't even like, oh, it's going to curve. It was like, boom, boom. And I was like, and everybody was saying they got 23 points from last night. I was like, God damn it. And I don't agree yeah. with Ernesto that every, every year there's a crappy – maybe there's a crappy team, but not a whole division that sucks. I mean, this division sucks. Yeah, I can only remember one, di- one time a division winner went in with a losing record. That Bucks. was the Carolina Panthers, like, I don't know. No, Bucks last years year. Ago, something like that. Otherwise, it's always had at no. least a 500 record. No. This, this Buc- is looking like they're going to be under 500. Bucks last year were 8-9, dude. Eight and nine. Eight and nine, and there was, was a really? yeah eight and nine, and there was a year that the Saints 
went in, and I think they won a playoff game. They they no, had a crap. No, no, they weren't. They wait, 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 wait. Brady was eight nine last. No, Brady never had a losing season last year. W- weren't they? Is that Brady never had a losing season in his career? Weren't they eight and nine last? Year? I, I gotta look. Okay, I'm looking it up right now. Maybe, maybe nine and eight, but they never. Yeah, Brady never finished a season with the under. I don't think he ever had a under 500 record in his entire career. I don't think he. But I'm looking right now. I know Bucks, he had a 500 